During the 80s, Japan wanted to enter the high-performance market to compete with the Italian supercars of that era. They got tired of the front-engine, front-wheel drive and went the complete opposite and teamed up with Panini Farina to create a mid-engine, rear-wheel drive Honda HPX. While Honda was mainly focused on their Formula 1 cars, they also wanted to incorporate F1 engines in their daily driven cars and set forth the NSX. This car standing right behind me is no ordinary car. This car itself is a global time attack car. This is a 3 liter V6, 320 horsepower Honda NSX. This car has been gutted multiple times to achieve maximum weight reduction. The car is sitting at 2,250 pounds. The weight reduction on this car is so extreme that it's actually 750 pounds lighter than the original car. But I can't give you all the information I need on this car. The only person that can talk right about this car is the owner himself. My name is Ravi Tomlin. I'm the driver of this 1991 Honda NSX. This car is incredibly important to me, mainly because of the journey that it and I have been through in the last four or five years, including the actual acquisition of it, the build, performing with it, working with it through other groups and charities. It's been an awesome piece of equipment to have in our corral. So I selected the NSX chassis, honestly, 10 or 11 years ago at this point with another car. I drove it real hard and I enjoyed it, and I ended up deciding that I didn't want any other chassis. I'd already gone through Skylines, RX-7 FDs, Supra, a couple of Subarus, various other platforms, and once I had one of these, I got stuck on it and just didn't want to move on. This car was purchased as a completely bare chassis with just engine and transmission and a couple miscellaneous panels. Uh, we picked it up in Ohio and brought it back in the middle of winter in 2013. Um, a couple friends and I grabbed a truck and trailer, rode out to Ohio and just threw this thing on, a, on the back of an open trailer and as many parts as we could I went with it and drove it back to Arizona in 20 degree weather, ice, snow, storms and uh, put it in my garage. I sat on it for a couple months while trying to find more parts. Eventually. Uh, Everything was allocated and we started putting it together. We actually had it running um, roughly January, February of 2014, and we had it on track mid-summer that year. The engine is a three liter V6. It's still a C30, so it's the same engine that came in the car. It's actually a VIN matching to this car. The engine itself isn't really highly modified. It has the factory titanium connecting rods, has the factory titanium valve train with a couple small additions from Science of Speed. Um, we added the Weissco uh, 12 and a half to one compression pistons and the Science of Speed individual throttle body kit. Had it tuned locally over at UMS Tuning and he was able to get 320 horsepower out of it at the wheel on pump gas. So the car is pink because uh, I myself had a pretty good scare with cancer and my, uh, my grandmother actually passed because of cancer. Um, I've, my mom's had a little bit of touch of it. I mean, everybody, and everybody I know has been touched by it in some messed up way. The signatures on the dash are signatures from everybody who contributed time, energy, parts, money, anything to the car. We plan on working a little bit more on the aerodynamics in terms of uh, making it more effective, changing some materials out to lighter materials, stronger materials, more load-bearing materials. Um, we're actually upclassing the car to unlimited eventually, um, which will include changes to the tires, changes to the, uh, again, the aerodynamics, changes possibly to the horsepower levels. Um, we're still debating that. I ended up working at Phoenix International Raceway, uh, doing gate duty with NASA Arizona. They started trading me track time for gate duty, so I started building race cars in and saying, how can I make it faster? How can I make it more fun? And that was, uh, that was 16 or 17 years ago. And 